Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Our brand new barn is complete. This is the deluxe barn. I believe it's the highest upgrade we can get. Uh, we can now get the pigs and uh, sheep. The auto feeder system is fantastic, so I don't have to worry about that chore every day, which is awesome. Um, the coop, I went ahead and sold one of the chickens just because we had too many, and I'm, if I'm going to buy something, I'm going to probably buy one to try and see if we can get a brown one. I sold it for like a thousand G. It was, I think the more hearts they had, the more um, they sold for. And yeah, we're gonna make some goat cheese now. Um, I can't decide if I should go buy some animals or if I should finish that. Um, yeah, I can't remember if I wanna finish the bundle first by getting, let's see, the pantry. Well, we're not finishing this until the summer anyway. So I might as well just like wait to get the other animals, right? To finish this until I get maybe a large yeah, yeah, it's really just worth me waiting, I think. Because um, I can't finish this till later, so we'll just wait for the greenhouse. So I'll wait to buy my animals. Um, yeah, same with, even though this stuff over here, yeah, same. We'll just wait because this stuff is uh, some sort of ways away from getting it. Until we start getting, you know, just with the animals. So I think I'm definitely going to work on the vault. Because um, that's the one that's the closest in task. So we're going to go pay that 10G. And then try and get ourselves to raise up the rest of it. Um... Yeah, try and go raise the rest of the money. I just want to go see how much the animals sell for so we can see that together and see what we're kind of looking for in the future. And then, yeah, I'm probably going to go back in the mines and try and make a bunch of money that way. I made a bunch of money on the beach the other day. Um, I might go check some more, um, but I'm not too sure. Let's see. Sheep, 8,000. Can be sh They can be shorn for wool. Sheep who form a close bond with their owners can grow wool faster. A pair of shears is required to harvest the wool. Lives in a barn. These pigs are trained to find truffles. Lives in the barn. 16,000 G. Yeah, we're going to wait on those. We're going to get ourselves on that bus to get to that desert. Because I'm sure there's stuff there that can make us a little bit more money. Hey, look, a snow rabbit. What's he fishing down here for? I never see him fish down here. Oh, I wonder if you expanded it because... We got ourselves to level 5 on fishing. That happened, by the way. So, fifth, fish an hour 25% more. I didn't want to get the the uh, thing for the crab pots. That really doesn't interest me that much. I'm not going to spend time doing that. So, fish are worth a ton more, which is awesome. Um, but I wonder if he's got a new fishing rod for us. But, of course, we can't see it today because he's looking like he's not open his shop on the Saturday. Um... Yeah, I think that was about it that was, like, interesting to happen here in town. Um, we'll go open that bundle, and um, I'm going to go down to the mines. We added the bream, so I think we just need to get the eel for the summer to finish up that one. But we're going to go ahead and donate the 10,000. Purchase. A lightning rod, sure. I'll take that, I guess. Uh, yeah, now we just need 25,000 G, and we've finished the bus repair one. So, yeah, we need... How much is that? We need 20000 Um, So we need to make a lot of money. I made a lot of money down at the beach. So I might go check the beach. And then if not, I'll just take the cart up to get to the, the mines. Oh, yeah. Forgot to check these. We got some crabs and the broken glasses, of course. Um, it looks like this has been, like, the best way to make money. But I think if only if I'm lucky, it's really worth my time. If I got good luck, I mean, I forgot to check my luck today, of course. I think I'll just go on the mine, because I could do this, like, all across the beach, and then, and then really not get anything. But that other day, I had really good luck, and there was a lot of items on the beach. Oh, there we go. the last day of winter one final snowfall before spring begins guys springtime is back and look at the money i got after level up last night now i have twenty-five thousand. i ended up selling a bunch of my ores or my uh, my actual iron blocks that seemed really useful um and i was like there's no way i need this many and it's so easy for me to go back in the mines and get more if i need them so i was like let me sell a bunch of these bars and i made a ton of money off it and i got some more to sell coming up 
Um, quick check on the weather now that it's spring, a beautiful sunny day. I don't remember, we get, I don't think we get thunderstorms. We got thunderstorms during the summer. It was rain in the spring, thunderstorms during the summer, and then thunderstorms or rain in the fall before the snow in the winter. How is our luck here on the first day of spring? Neutral today. Living off the land. Well, a new year has arrived. Keep your eyes peeled for any new kinds of seeds being stocked in your local general store, which we've heard from Pierre personally that that is the case. So we're looking forward to that. Hopefully you upgraded your tools, which we did. We got to some gold and I could have made the, the hoe in the watering can gold, which I will soon, but I'd rather save the money. I can do just fine with the five blocks that it now waters. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you upgraded your tools and you're ready for a productive year, which I am. A quick reminder, we're now on year two of spring. Uh, Kent, who's Kent? Is Kent, I don't remember, who's Kent? Is that, is that even a person we met? Uh, but yeah, a reminder, we have the egg festival coming up, which we just have to catch eggs fast, and then hopefully we can find someone that's a good friend to ask to have them come to the flower dance with us so we can actually dance with someone. But a reminder that this is spring, where those are the two events and some of these random birthdays. Um, yeah, so let's head on out and see how green it is. Oh, look how green it is! And someone's at our door. Oh, Kent. Um, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Who's... Ken? Whose wife was... Who? Let's see. Jody Kent and Sam. It was Jody's husband has now returned. So now we have... A new person that's in town to talk with. Look at these people we're getting some friendship with. Let's see. Yeah, we got Kent on here now. So, and the dwarf's still here. Well, we've got Kent to be friend now, so that's a new person. Good to, I like that, you know? We know everybody in town, kind of mixing it up, getting to someone else to talk to. Um... You know that I like that. That's that's cool. That's something else to talk to. Some other event to get through some more recipes, I assume. Um, so yeah, as far as stuff goes, we we did pretty good last year. I mean, we did almost as much as we could do. Now, if I maybe would have known the strategy and figured out some things at the start, we probably could have done a little bit better with like getting to the mine, the bottom of the mine further. I could have cooked some more or got some more fish and completed a little bit more of the bundles. But really, we kind of had maxed it out. Uh, good to see that all of our flower things have regrown and none of our of our seeds grew at all our trees grew at all during the winter so good to know that we're gonna have to wait for everything to regrow back but look at all of the grass there is grass everywhere and thick tall grass for hay and some logs wow wow it has taken a beating <laughs> not like the things that popped up in fall like there is a lot of stuff to be cleared around our base, which um, again, I'm totally fine with. Give us some more resources, give us something to do here. Um, just looking around to see what's special. So I think I only have that one patch of grass over there, uh, which we'll just let grow for now. Oh! We have, I guess this is spring. Apricot, we got an apricot. Yay. Um, so, yeah, apricot's grown. We'll go ahead and donate or send this and ship this off. I wonder if we get like one a day. Um, but yeah, we need to do a lot of work. First off, what I need to do is I want to clear out all of this and I want to plant grass to get these filled with grass. So we're going to stop by Pierre's and buy some grass. And then I'm going to clear this and I'm basically going to go ahead and print plant all of the wild seeds, that the mixed seeds that I have because I got 18. I got a lot of those to plant. So yeah, sorry about that. Print plant these since we have 18 of them. I could also plant these seeds, but I might just keep them in case we need some more of that. Um, I do know that I'm going to plant, save the quality, I'll plant those with fertilizer, but I'm going to save the turnips to, not the turnips, the parsnips to plant with the quality fertilizer. So I'm going to get all this land hoed and ready to be planted. And... Um, yeah, we got another seed to put in here. I put it in the wrong chest, but oh well. Drop that away, drop that away. Okay, so we're going to start by... So notice that... Okay, yeah, well, we'll start by going to Pierre's and buying that grass, because I know we need that for sure. 
Um, I also, all of the time, all of the trees, we, I noticed this is good. We don't really need to have a tree farm on our base because um, you can just chop trees down from like elsewhere in town, right? Everywhere else in town, you can ch basically chop down the trees. There's no point to like keep them growing. You know, if they grow, cut them down on your farm, but otherwise just leave them up for decoration. You can cut them down around town. You have the various areas here, and then you have the whole area down here, and then a whole bunch over here. You basically cut them down in that exact same spot. A sapling will grow of that previous tree. Now notice during the winter, none of them were growing, but now they're gonna start growing that it's spring. Um, and now we're gonna mostly get artifacts and books again from the ground, unless we got all the books. Um, because I didn't get books a lot during the winter. Maybe you just don't get them in the winter time. Um, but yeah. So just if you need to do some lumberjacking, do it outside of town and it'll automatically regrow and replant itself, which is nice. Why should we have someone deliver to me? 105G on delivery. Yeah, I can't do that because I have no parsnips. I have those gold ones, but we need the gold ones. How's it going, Marnie? I'll go ahead and give that to you. All right, let's get our, yeah, let's get ourselves at first. I need at least two of these because we need two grass patches. Uh, let me just peek down here and see what he's got. Palm tree wallpaper, I like that. Let's get that just for that. Let's get these two things just for the heck of it, because I don't know how wallpaper and flooring works. I'm the bottom four. It's kind of cheap. So what I've been thinking about, and basically what I decided, um, was instead of just giving away the twenty-five thousand now, to even though we could do it, it's not worth it because we we need to get some money into some crops to get a return on it, and I think that planting some crops here would be the best thing to do. Um, so I thought that was the best thing to do is to dump it into crops and plant some. Uh, we've got garlic. Plant these in spring. This is new. It takes four days to mature, um, and it only costs 40. So I don't want to do either of these. I like in the spring that things are very short. Um, I like that they're very short like that, except for the cauliflower. But cauliflower you can make a lot of money back on. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to buy a bunch of these because we need to get at least one more it's only four days but because we need to get one more um gold star what white right one or two more gold star ones so we need to at least plant 25 of those i'm going to give that the quality fertilizer um next up is we're going to plant some garlic because why the heck not uh we need to get that in our shipped off item list either because he said write one new crop per season i think and then the rest of it, let's do something that regrows, which I think this will be good. You know, plant this at the start of the season. We'll plant this where it can be automatically watered. And we can just kind of have this going all season long. Although it's on a trellis, so we have to be careful about where you plant that. This might be have to be an auto-planted one. Um, let's see. Um... Yeah, actually, I think I want to sell. Let's see. I'll do like a three by. Shoot, I'll do a three by ten. I just wasted some money there, but okay. So, notice things are so cheap. I feel like in the spring, which is nice. Uh, but again, you're not going to get as much back when you buy them. But anyway, we'll be able to. We should be able to get this five thousand back really relatively quickly. So, oh, good, nice to hear the general Pelican Town tune again. Um, so yeah, we should be able to get this back, uh, pretty quickly, pretty quickly. You know, four days from now, we should be able to get this back. If not the mine, I'll do it in between that. Um, but yeah, we should be able to get this back pretty good. So let's start by, I'm actually going to come in here and get this wallpaper and flooring, which I'm going to put in the bedroom. Let's put both of this in the bedroom and see how this works and what this looks like. Oh, I see. So it'll do like one section of a room, I guess. Ah, I kind of like that. It, gives it, it changes it up a little bit. Doesn't look too terrible, right? That'll work. All right, let's go plant these grass starters and check on our animals. I'll let you guys see like all the daily stuff today, just because why the heck not? You guys haven't seen it in a while. 
Um, so we'll do some farming together for this episode. And we'll actually save the bus for next time. Oh, look, our other duck grew up. I need to check to see how much hay I've got. I know I have like 700 though, so I'm not really too concerned. I just might have to fill some more up in a silo. But once I get the auto feeder in this one as well, then definitely, definitely going to have to, uh, I guess I need to try and keep these closed if I can, because I'll be able to let them out. Ah, so I see, so we'll let that grow. I'll leave them inside for now, because I want to let that grow a little bit before I let them out. Um, because then I'll be able to have them eat that on their own. And instead of using a sword for this, I should probably get my watering can and my, um, scythe. So let's go check on these guys. They both got smoke, but he doesn't have any large milk yet, dang. Yeah, the auto feeder system is fantastic. So we'll leave them in here for a bit. Oh. This is what we want. I should have brought a couple of those and made the patches a bit bigger so they don't eat it all, but um, I don't think we really need this in here, actually. And I'm just going to go take and put this somewhere else, but we'll go ahead. We'll leave those open again. We're going to save this for another time. Oh, yeah, I was going to put grass there, too, but we'll go buy some more soon. Um, okay, so now we'll... I'll do a bunch of clearing off screen. This is what I'll do in a couple days while I'm waiting. Um, the puppy dog's out. Ooh, it's such a happy time. All right. Yeah, that's all the gold I need for my upgrade. So I had that as well, which is another reason why I was like, I'm just going to sell so much of this. Oh, yeah, we only need one more. Okay. So we'll grab this. We're going to have a lot to farm. I might save a little bit of this to do later. We'll go ahead and grab both of these. I also sold like a bunch of stuff that I realized there's no reason I needed. I had like 800 sap. I sold like three fourths of it and I got like so much money because it sells for like two each, which turns out to be a lot when it came to that. And same with the clay. I had like a hundred of it and then the fiber, you know, just these things that you don't think, but when you have like lots of it, it actually sells for a pretty good price. Um, what did I need? Got another iridium as well. Um... Gonna grab, let's grab this. Oh, I never checked on the mushrooms. Also, I'm going to clear these out. I think this is the one I don't want to grow, but this is the tree I want to grow. Because I think it's that I planted. If I did this right. If I did it right. Did I check the mushrooms yet? I can't remember. Yeah, I thought I did. I don't think there was anything. Okay, so I just need this thing to grow. And then I'll be able to move that all over here. Okay. So let me go sell this. And wow, I actually have to clear out a bunch of stuff here because it's right next to where we're trying to build. Okay, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Or that. Or that. Okay. Next up, we're going to organize. This is a pretty good order. I'm just going to move those around because those are usually useful together. And I'll put this around. Actually, I should put the quality fertilizer down around these. And that way I can just do the replanters that are going to be there. Like, oh, maybe I should put these. I can't. Yeah, I could plant these here because I could access them from around the outside. That might be what I actually do. Let's plant these with this so they can be watered every day and I can just get something every once in a while. I think that's a pretty good bet. That's a pretty good idea. Because these, I might not always have these other crops growing. Um, they might not always be there. I might not always replant them. So I should plant those separate and I can water those on my own accord. And I don't need to do by threes anymore. I can do fives. I should do five by fives. Because it's really easy for me to water it. Like only five waters. Okay. Well, let's use this now. <laughs> Even though the sword has been basically replacing this for the last month. Um... So yeah, I should be able to do this. Why are these wet? Is that because it snowed yesterday or something? Oh, the sprinkler watered them, duh. Duh, that would be why. I had cleared this all out before, but the winter season just took a beating on it. All the constant snowfalls. And 
I gotta remember that that last sprinkler does not cover everything. It only does the four corners. So to make sure I don't plant anything in those spots, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, then I gotta lay the fertilizer down. I have plenty of sap, so if I need to go make some more fertilizer, I will, which I'm going to need to. Not too much, but I think it's just sap, right? Yeah, it is. That is all that it's needed. All right, so that's done. Now we're just going to basically plant, start by just planting all of these here. Um... Oh, I won't be able to access these. If I would have left the one gap space between them. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, well. I can plant it like this. And then put some other crops here. I can put the other crops, the other crops in between that. Right? Right? Oh god, it's 6 p.m. already. Did not realize it was this late. Okay, I guess those are going there. Um, this is a really inefficient way to do it, but... Whatever. Um, next up, we'll plant these in the rest of the spots. And then I'll make a little area here for parsnips and we still have the wild seeds to plant so we probably won't even get time to plant those today well some of them okay so now down here I'll do a little five by five one two Three, four, five. And down here, the quality fertilizer is going to go in. And then the parsnips should fill this up. And then I need to go back and water everything, and then I'll see if I got enough time to plant the rest of this stuff. But it takes, it's really easy to, I'm thinking I gotta water each one. I can't believe for so long when I had the, the copper one, I didn't know it could water three. And I was, <laughs> I was watering things one by one. Some things in this game you're just not told about. You just have to figure them out yourself. almost forgot I need to swap out my decorations and put out my scarecrows before the evening does. I've got everything watered. Uh, let's see. We have this rat that's ugly. We'll just put out the basic ones for spring. I think these will work pretty well for spring. Um, those other ones just don't really fit the season at the moment, which is sort of fine. We'll go ahead and pick up this decoration so we don't really have a spring decoration. I also wanted to craft... A stone one of these just to see what it's like and because I figured some light here around the crops might be a good idea so we'll go ahead and plop this right there oh wow that's even is that brighter or is it the same I think it's the same actually okay to make sure that the crops you stay away from the crops I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and I'm sure that there's stuff growing on other parts of town but it is 1040 already so let me go ahead and plant Let's see. Scarecrow's down, and we'll save the rest of this farming for tomorrow. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, can I walk around that? That's going to be annoying. We're just going to move this to right there. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So basically just need to put it somewhere over here. And that will do the job. I just want to see, we have also, oh, that there's so much grass down here. Okay, so we got a patch here that can grow on a patch there that can grow. Then I'm going to get rid of this patch up here because it's a little close to everything. And we don't really need it at the moment. And it's officially getting late. We did a long day's work. I got a geode from that. <sighs> yeah, we did a long day's work. So let's head to sleep and... We'll see what this is all like in the morning. None of that stuff needs to be sold. Sleep in our newly decorated home. Did I forget to do anything today? I don't think so. I don't think I did. Yeah, look how much you get. 250 per gold bar. Apricot, only 55? You must, you have to get one a day then. Because 28 times 50 would be some huger amount. <laughs> I think that is like 25 and yeah that would be it would take a while though for you to make that money back from those seeds but I guess because you only it's a one time a fee I guess it's fine and artifacts I'm always disappointed by how much artifacts sell for but I guess it's not too important they're not really to make money all right second day another beautiful sunny day Better luck to go do something else around town? Nope. Good, we got plenty to work on on the farm. Anywho. Oh. What happened to our tile floor over here? Our tile floor disappeared. Why did our tile floor disappear? Did it, did it like, glitch when I did this? Or can I... Did it think this is one room now? And was like, wait, it can't... What? Why did it dis... It was there last night? That has to be a glitch. Let's try going in and out of our house. Nope. It's apparently disappeared now. Okay. Dear Mike, I am now selling higher quality fertilizers as well as new crop selections. See you soon, Pierre. I noticed you had had those, but I'm not sure if that includes what we had already. And those are automatically watered. It's beautiful. And then look at this. I do this watering super quick. Five rows, and we're going to build another patch of this right next to it to plant all the mixed seeds down here first thing in the morning. Let's see, how many do we got? We're probably going to get more. So I'm probably just going to hoe. This is 10. We need 13. So we'll just start with this. And really, I want to get rid of... Oh no, we'll save this for when we need the melons. I probably didn't need to plant all of those with that. Let's see, do I have something else like a water... Hold the moisture in one? No, I don't. Uh, um, let's just make more of this. I might as well use it. It's... Okay, whatever. Those last couple won't get it. It'll be oh, that worked fine anyway. Need to fill this up now. All right, there we go. See how easy that is to now do the daily stuff. It's like, of course we even plant it and stuff, but that'll take like 10 minutes in the morning to do. With the sprinklers, it's amazing, and that didn't really grow yet. So we'll leave them inside because I know we got plenty of hay. Yeah, we got plenty of hay. Apricot today. Do we get one a day? We do get one a day. I wonder if this matures, we start getting more than one. That would maybe make a little bit more sense. Now I believe this needs to go to a bundle. And it does. I already took a goat cheese there. I don't, ah. Uh, dang. Well, um, let's see. I'm not sure there's really much to share with you guys at the moment. I think, oh yeah, it's every other day for him. I think that for the most part, I just need to make some money. So let me just do some stuff around town. I'm going to clear some land. 
um, go make a little bit of money. We'll get ourselves to 25k, and then I'll go ahead and donate because I know I got money in those crops right now. Not the, as a ton of money, but enough money where if we spend all 25,000, it will end up being okay. Oh yeah, we'll check out the hats because I did get a new achievement or so lately. Um, let's see, lots of clips. Of course, we saw this, the Suester. Short cap, watermelon band, blue bonnet. I think the blue bonnet was the new thing. I might have actually shown that already. Um, oh, the delicate bow. That's what the new one is. Because like one of those was for the cook, but let's see, that's all set together with the girl stuff. Very strange little place they little feature they put in the game, but I guess it's kind of neat. That doesn't serve too much for purpose. I'm out here gathering all the spring crops. I'm remembering like, oh yeah, the horseradish, the dandelion, just some stuff to sell. And of course the leeks, which can be found over here. I'm sorry, the spring onion, which is special to just growing in this part of town in the tilled earth. Look at it all over here. There's a whole bunch of it. I seem to remember though, it didn't sell for very much. Um, of course we can now, I forget, we can always check how much things sell for. Um, 50, which sells for a good amount. Uh, where's the spring onion? Yeah, 8. Doesn't sell for very much. But, I guess it's worth something. Wasn't there an achievement that said ship 300 of something? Yeah, we only shipped one of this we saved them all, but I'm pretty sure I shipped 200. Yeah, so in the fall, Black Braves will probably be what gives us that achievement. Um, oh, you're eating the spring onion. Any other ones over here? There's all sorts of stuff. There's a lot of stuff out today, despite the stuff being unpleasant. Maybe it was from yesterday and it's just still hanging out. So I guess I'll go ahead and check the beach. Um, but I don't think there's really anything special. I think winter had the special stuff. Fish. I know I need to fish all the stuff here in the spring. Um, I, are you single? Are you single? <laughs> Were you just hitting on me? I think she was just hitting on me. It's not Penny, it's Lee. Lee is single, she was definitely just hitting on me. Lee, we'll be back to chat soon. I remember I, I forgot a warm spot down here. Well, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Hope you enjoyed some of the time spent here. Of course, you know how to make chocolate cake already. I actually already made that. Next time on Stardew Valley, it's going to be a good day of luck. It's going to be another couple series of beautiful days. Kent's birthday is coming up, which we probably won't pay any attention to. But we're going to go ahead and complete the Vault Bundle collection and get ourselves the repaired bus. Get the bus repaired, and we're going to get ourselves out to that desert place to see what that's all about. That's going to be the whole episode. I'm going to get this um, stuff done here around town the daily stuff. I spent some time yesterday clearing out a whole bunch of land and doing a whole bunch of foraging. And, uh, you know, you don't make that much foraging during the summer, during the springtime, but it was, there was enough there. And, uh, we're going to spend the next time exploring that new place. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out another Let's Play I did, check out my Super Mario World Let's Play for the Super Nintendo by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Avius, click here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.